We're with Mississippi College head coach John Bland as we look ahead to this weekend's game against Delta State University. But first, we're going to look back at the West Florida game this past weekend. Coach, thanks so much for taking time to join us. I know that's a tough loss for your team coming off of three straight wins. I thought the game was kind of decided at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football. West Florida's offensive line did a good job at giving their running backs, who were tough to bring down, some yeah. room to run. And their defensive line did a good job as well. They did. They played extremely hard, and uh, they're they're really good as well. That that helps. But uh, I thought we were uh, we we could have played better, you know. And I, I think we'll get a chance. Matter of fact, that's one of the teams that we get to play twice this year, and that's uh, could be bad for some people. But we're looking forward to it, and that'll be uh, here at our place. So we'll see how we can improve in that next go around. I just believe that uh, we could have played better. Although uh, give them a lot of credit, they're they're a good football team. Talking about some opportunities your team had in the first half of that football game. A couple of passes, quite frankly, could have been picked off. And then they yeah. had a drive where they had a couple of penalties and uh, just the Choctaws weren't able to take advantage of those mistakes. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know what, we've got to come up with those big breaks when we, when we get a chance. And uh, when we get down there in the red zone, we need to score seven points and we got a field goal one time. And, and uh, they, were, they were hard to, uh, we, were, we were trying to get in there like we've been in the past three weeks and it just didn't happen. So we'll, uh, uh, learn what we did wrong and, and see if we can do that the next go around. Evaluate for us the progress of your freshman quarterback, John Henry White. Now, he's been the starter for a couple of three ball games after right. coming in after Deontay's injury. And uh, this was a tough ball game for him. As a freshman, you always wonder how they respond. So, how do you think he's responded? I felt like he responded well. You know, he, he made some mistakes in the ball game. He uh, did a lot of good things, too, though. One of the things I saw that was really impressive was he hit some deep passes and right on the money. It was, uh, we needed those because they were really, really strong at the line of scrimmage. Like you said, they're trying to stop the run. They're going to give up maybe a, a chance to get a deep pass, and they did. And when they do, though, we have to be very accurate with the ball. And they were not, in, they were not wide open, but they were open enough. And um, with a great pass, though, it was really effective for us. And it seems like those receivers are starting to get a little more confidence in their ability to go get it. I know yeah. the, the first catch that Jacob Stevens made, I mean, he just kind of laid out there. That was a fantastic right. catch, and Mikhail's was great as well. So it seems like they're getting a little uh, confidence as they go along. No doubt, and uh, I believe they've got, to, you know, we know they have talent, uh, and you know what, we throw in, in practice probably we, more than we do in the game, but in some of those games like that one, we need to have those big plays when we, when we uh, call them, and they did. They stretched out there and got those balls. Coming off a three-game winning streak, uh, the loss snapped that, that winning streak. But your team had a lot of confidence going into that ball game. Uh, how do you coach them up getting ready for this next game after having experienced a little bit of a letdown? Well, the, the bad thing is this is the Gulf South Conference. They're all, they're all tough. The good thing is it's the Gulf South Conference. So we know that there's not going to be a letdown. We, we're expecting that every week. We're expecting a great team each and every week. And that was one of those. They're, they're one of the best. And they've, they've proven that by being, uh, winning the national championship, by being in the national championship. Um, and uh, they're good every year. So we're, we, we expected them to be really, really good. Um, but we're seeing that every week, which is, which is good for us. So every time we go to work each uh, week, it, it is the same. So uh, Delta State's going to be no different. They're having a great year right now. And uh, we'll have to play extremely well to, to uh, get that win as well. You know, injury-wise, the Choctaws, other than Deontay, and that's a big other for sure. It is. been pretty fortunate. But uh, a couple of offensive linemen, Leon, uh, Levon Lott was uh, not available this last game. Right. Garrett Franklin went out for a little while. He sure. had to come back in. Talk to us a little bit about how the Choctaws are health-wise. Some guys that are banged up. You know, that's probably everybody in the country, you know, with uh, turned ankles and, and uh, shoulders that are, are hurting um, ankles and, and, you know, just things that maybe not keep them out for the season. But uh, we do have a few of those, but we do have some that are maybe have missed a week. Like Levi has missed several weeks. Uh, I want to say he went out in the shorter game. I'm not, sh not positive which, which game it was. But anyway, he was, uh, has been out for a while. He, he may be returning this week, so which is good. Um, uh, Garrett, I think, is going to be able to play as well. He did uh, twist his ankle a little bit. And so we've got some guys that are, that are the only thing that hurts mainly, it, it hurts the game, yes, but, but uh, it hurts practice. You know, they don't get to practice as full as they would like to. And that's uh, practice is, is not overrated. You need to be able to practice and, and see those things as fast and as live as you can. And um, that'll be something they'll have to really, really pay attention and uh, get those mental reps while they're not in. You're talking about Deontay shortly after he got injured, but he was kind of walking around campus. You know, he, had his, he had his boot on, but he was walking around with this bamboo stick around campus. Yeah. He saw him on the sideline. 
And uh, I've, I've gotten to know him a little bit myself as right. well as he's in one of my classes. And he's just had a great attitude through it all. Really, really it. good. Really a great leader for our team. And that's uh, one of the reasons, one of the, I mean, he's a really talented young man, but uh, he's a great leader. That's why he was uh, such a good quarterback for us. So that is something that we obviously miss, but he's still here. It's that uh, he's going to, as soon as he gets over the initial rehab, he's going to be more and more around our team again and to help us, uh, you know, the way he can. All right, talking about this Delta State football game, undefeated Delta State team. I kind of was searching through my mind. I can't remember the last time these two teams met with such good records and playing such good <coughs> football since yeah. the return to Division II specifically. Right. And uh, they've got a good dual threat quarterback. It's going to be tough to stop. They, they do. Shegog is really good. He's uh, able to throw the ball very accurately. He's a, a football player is what he is. He's a, he's, he's a playmaker, but he's also able to get – get first downs and move the chains with his legs. He's very hard to tackle. Uh, and it seems like when they get in control of a ball game and, and uh, they need to finish a game, they, they let him take over. And, uh, but he is, he's really good. They've got a lot of guys, though. The, the running backs can run. They're, they're strong runners. Their offensive line is huge, and they'll, they'll block. Uh, the receivers can uh, catch it and take it the distance. Uh, their defense is playing very extremely hard. They're getting after it. They're doing a lot of things really well. Of course, you have to to be undefeated in this league. And uh, they have uh, done, done really well. They went over to Pensacola and won. And it was a tight game. It was a double, double overtime. They had some, some uh, big plays that helped us, help them win, just, just like we did over at West Georgia. So they're, they're a good football team, really good. And uh, we'll have to play. We, we won't get pushed around, that's for sure. But we'll have to play well to, to win this game. Well, it's always special to play Delta State. This year we get them for homecoming. I, yeah. I was doing a high school game the other night, and we were talking about how I don't know a high school coach alive who likes homecoming because there's so many distractions yeah. for, their, for their young men. But there are going to be some distractions sure. this week. But this seems to be a chance for the Choctaws to come out and show their absolute best. There's no doubt. And, uh, you know, I told our team throughout the week, I said, I want you to enjoy the festivities. I want you to take it in because this is a once-a-year once type thing. We'll have a lot of things they're, they're trying to celebrate, you know, uh, the, the university. Uh, they're celebrating the football team. They're celebrating the band. Everything is getting uh, a lot of attention right now around this. And so that's good. I want them to. I don't want them to take away from being their best on Saturday. That's, that's the key, and that's hard not to do. But, you know, we're going to get their rest. Uh, but uh, I think it's, it's good to, to get involved in some of the festivities a little bit. That just raises the level of expectation and, and, uh, and the, hey, we, we, we want to win this thing. This is important. And so that's, uh, that's going to be a good thing for everyone. Coach, we're looking forward to this ball game. We wish you good luck. Thank you. Mississippi College head coach John Bland with us as the Choctaws get set to take on Delta State.